Hello everyone, this is Liz Nicholson, the K County 4-H Extension Educator, and today we're going to go over branding and the history of branding. The early Egyptians were branding their livestock with simple patterns as early as 2000 BC. The Spanish conqueror Hernando Cortez brought the practice of branding horses and cattle to North America in the 16th century. The American custom of branding cattle came from Mexico. As you can see, this is an ancient Egyptian branding iron around 1550 BC. Animals can be branded with chemicals, paint, by tattooing, or even by tagging or ear notching. In Texas, there was at least one rancher who didn't like to brand his cattle. His name was Sam Maverick. Many of his cattle were stolen or wandered away. Since they had no brands, no one knew who owned them. This was how unbranded cattle came to be known as Mavericks. A rancher must register his or her brand in the state where he or she first started using it. A brand is considered property and can be inherited or passed down in a family. A ranch can have more than one brand, but all brands must be registered. The location of the brand on the animal's body will be the same for every animal that belongs to that ranch. It may be on the animal's hindquarters, shoulder, or side. Registered Oklahoma brands are recorded by the Oklahoma Cattlemen's Association which is an organization made up of Oklahomans involved in with beef production, marketing, and distribution. Branding irons are formed from steel and placed on long handles, like what you saw earlier. Some modern branding irons are electric with plastic grip handles, as you can see in this photo. They plug in, heat up, and then you start branding your cattle. Branding irons for sheep are carved from wood or molded from metal and dipped in paint so that the wool and hide will not be ruined, as you can see in this photo here. As soon as the wool is sheared, the sheep must be branded again. Designs may be letters, numbers, pictures, or a combination of all of these things. These, the design must be simple enough to shape with metal or carve into wood, and it must be easy to read. Brands are usually two or more inches tall and four or more inches long. Designs can be open, which you can see here, closed, which you can see right next to it, or lazy, which means the letter, number, or symbol is flipped over on its side. Designs are to be read from the outside to the inside. Diamond B Ranch, for example, the shape is a diamond and B is on the inside, meaning it's read Diamond B Ranch. They can also be read from the top to the bottom, like in the middle, BC Ranch, or from left to right which we can see by looking to the far right at S Bar Ranch. A design can have a simple picture, an arrow, a star, or a house. Something that is cockeyed, like the L, would stand for Tumbling L Ranch. This is an angle brand system. The angles, like you can see in the picture, each stand for a number. Each angle is located with a number right in the middle of the angle. One are two vertical bars, and zero are two horizontal bars. Therefore, the number below, the brand below, is read 1048. A few accepted variations on the letter A from left to right, the upside down A is read crazy A, the A with the wings at the top would be flying A, the A laid over on the side is lazy A, and the A with the two kicks to the side of the base are named walking A. This is a Texas brand registration. The last array of combinations made possible by these characters and variations ensures that a unique and identifiable brands can be created, hopefully without repetition, using only limited formal language, and sometimes they could even be used to make a joke. The brand below would be two, blade over would be lazy, and P at the end. Therefore, this brand would read too lazy to pee. A common form of branding that we see are ear notching, most commonly in hogs. The pig's right ear is used for the litter identification mark. All of the pigs in the same litter must have the same notches in this ear. The pig's left ear is used for the individual pig identification number. Each pig in the litter will have different notches in this ear. Ear notches are read with the litter number, which is the right ear first, 
followed by the individual identification number in the left ear. Now you try. The answer will be posted in the comments the following day. Now it's your turn. Create your brand. Show us what you got, Oklahoma. We're ready to see it. Mm -hmm.